National Civil Society Council of Nigeria, NCSCN, has described the stampede that occurred during the distribution of subsidized rice in Lagos on February 23rd as unfortunate, saying it will have been averted if a minister had been appointed to oversee the affairs of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. The Council Executive Director, Comrade Blessing Akin Lusutu, stated this at a briefing in Abuja. He said the step would have eased the situation, adding that Nigeria Customs Service would have been relieved of the burden of distribution of the intervention items. He listed other issues such as low productivity, occasioned by high exchange rate, and inability of farmers to access their farms due to, bandit due to banditry, kidnapping, and insurgency as the bane of Nigeria's current challenges. The Council, however, commended the impressive performance of the Nigerian Customs Service towards fighting smuggling and smugglers head on with intensified vigor, which has yielded remarkable results and positive dividends. The drastic reductions of influx of contraband goods and illegal exportations of domestically needed produce and products from our border within the past few months is clear testimony to this monumental achievement of the new CG. The monthly contributions of the Nigerian Customs Service to our task earning and internally generated revenue has reasonably increased since the inception of the Office of the New Controller General and from available indices and figures. The figures are believed to be on steady increase in coming months and years. This accomplishment, if sustained, has potency of revigorating the nation's ailing economy. He noted that the drastic reduction in the influx of contraband goods and legal exportations of domestically needed produce and products from the nation's borders within the past few months is clear testimony to the achievements of the service. According to him, the monthly contributions of the Nigerian Customs Service to our tax earnings and intelligent rate revenue has really increased since the inception of the office of the new Comptroller General.